I'm missing anyone else for president, correct? As these are the only two we have present today. All right. Okay, we will start in alphabetical order with our opening statement. So we will have Ms. Conway go first. Hi, I'm Molly Conway and I am running for president of National Honor Society here at Stevens. I've known about NHS for a while. I've been fortunate enough to volunteer with the group uh, many times over the past couple years. Um, as NHS members, we are representing our school throughout our community while we're volunteering. And um, this is important to you know show everybody that Stevens High School National Honor Society is people that they can count on to volunteer. And one goal that I have for next year is to make the community more aware that we are here and we are volunteering and that they can always count on us to volunteer for whatever they need. Um, a thing that, another thing that's important to me is to make sure that everybody is involved and that everybody can share their opinions and express their ideas. Even the, like if they're not an officer, I want everybody to be able to um, communicate and just do kind of what they want to do. Um, another thing that's also important to me is that all the officers are equally participating because um, I feel like if I was president, I could not do everything by myself. And I think it's important to utilize everybody who is working with you and utilize all the resources you have. And so as president, I think I would do a good job of this because Ms. Conway, I- Ms. Conway, 10 seconds. Okay, I like including everybody. So, thank you. All right, Mr. Wall, your opening statement. Uh, good morning, my name is Jack Wall. I'm a candidate for presidency here in the Roberta H. Gaines chapter. Um, so my main goal, if I were to be elected, would be to express mainly the wishes of you all, because I feel like right now, the officers, obviously they're officers, so they're gonna have a little bit more power, uh, but I want to see more improvement, or not improvement, but more involvement with everybody. So my main goal would be to try and better, um, I don't know, more just to, uh, get everybody involved by expressing, or I would want to have you guys express how you feel to me, any concerns you have, any issues you'd like to see um, improved on, and I would follow through by uh, putting those into effect. Thank you. All right, we will start with our first question of the day. Ms. Conway, you will go first. If elected, what qualities do you possess that would benefit the Dr. Roberta K. Gaines chapter of the National Honor Society? So I'd like to consider myself self-motivated, positive, organized, and um, creative. Um, I'm also not overly busy, which, is, which allows me to utilize all these qualities. Um, at, as a leader, I like to lead with positivity and try to keep everything positive. And I also like to problem solve in like positive and creative ways. Um, it's, but being not overly busy is really important to me because if you reach out to me, I am able to respond as soon as possible and with any concerns or all those. And I think these are important qualities to have as a president. And I think that's why I would be a good president. Thank you. Mr. Wall, your response. Um, I would say that my two most beneficial qualities to the chapter would be my ambition and my, my ability to listen. Uh, my ambition would definitely help this, this chapter because if I have a, a goal that I need to reach or a goal that you guys want to see, I could easily set myself to it and get it done. And my ability to listen would definitely help the chapter because I can express how you guys are feeling um, and with that, I could also better communicate with you to try and resolve issues that you guys see. Right. Mr. Wall, you will answer this next question first. 
What changes would you make to our chapter to ensure it remains relevant and promotes community at Stevens High School? So I wouldn't necessarily make a lot of changes right now on the structure that we have. I would just want to expand them more, but I would try to get more involved with the uh, overall student population of Stevens, not just the chapter members. Um, whether this be starting something that can help get us involved with helping kids who are struggling in school right now, um, or just getting more of a positive image of our chapter within the school so it can encourage more people to join and become part of the experience. Ms. Conway, your response to that question. Um, so I agree with Jack. I like how it is now, but uh, one thing that I've noticed while volunteering is that not a lot of people know who we are volunteering with. And so one thing that I would like to do is to have us wear t-shirts while we're volunteering. So we have our National Honor Society t-shirts, but in the fall, I would like to hold a design contest to then for the members to choose which design they like to put on a t-shirt. And I think if we wore these around while we're volunteering, more people would know who we are volunteering with and know that they can rely on us to volunteer. Because once you see a bunch, a big group of people wearing, you know, the same shirt, you know that they're committed and that they are, you know, with the organization. And I think that's important to help us grow um, and get more people to recognize us because I know a lot of people before um, getting a letter from NHS may have not known about um, the club. So I think this is a good way to help us get out there more. Mr. Wall, your response to that question. Oh, that's right. You already did that. Okay. Excuse me. We'll go on to the next question. <clears throat> what new service projects would you like to introduce to your fellow members? Um, so as of right now, I like a lot of the service projects that we have but I would like to introduce some sort of project that would allow chapter members to get more involved with other students, whether it be to help them learn how to speak properly for any like speech classes or English classes, or maybe to help them get structure if they're falling behind. Um, like we could help them set goals for themselves in order to um, get their work done faster and better. Um, but mainly I would just, and I would like to uh, start more drives to help those who are in need at our, inside of our school. All right, Ms. Conway, your response to that question. So um, one thing, one volunteer thing that I would like to introduce to NHS is um, volunteering with Special Olympics. Um, Special Olympics is growing in our community and the organization is also growing, so they always need volunteers. And Special Olympics is year round. They have many sports throughout the year. And so it would be a constant opportunity to volunteer with helping, you know, at practices or at the actual events. They always need more volunteers. Um, another thing that I would like to do along with what Jack said is more drives. Um, I would like to involve other, involve other clubs around the school and in our community and do more drives for them um, like Wavy and uh, would be like one of the drives we could possibly do and it's like really open to what drives we could do and so those are some that I would like to introduce. Wonderful. Let's give them a round of applause for their responses to the questions. Uh, Ms. Conway, you will give your closing statement first. Yeah, so um, with everything I've said, it it's not like set in stone. That's not, if I am elected president, that's not what how it has to be next year. There's There's a lot of room for change. But I hope with everything that I've said, you consider me as president for next year. Mr. Wall, your closing statement. Um, so overall, my main goal would mainly just be to help better involve uh, the members of the chapter to help see their input on what the chapter could do to improve and just to benefit the school as well as the chapter. Um, because if we're able to create more of like a, a tightly knit connection almost um, I, th I feel like that could really benefit how people uh, look at the chapter um, well thank you for your time everyone all right let's give a round of applause to both of our in-person candidates wonderful job both of you. you can go back and take your seat now we have two final candidates for president that we will watch a couple videos on I promise you we will get you out of here very soon Luke
Lucas looks a little bit worried that he's gonna get the class late. I don't know, is that how you're feeling right now? No, okay, maybe he doesn't care. Okay. Next, we have Zachary Williams, who is running for the office of president. And look, he recorded his landscape. <laughs> I'm passionate about affecting change and helping others. This upcoming year, I want to work to ensure that the needs of the students at the school and at home are met as long as. Yeah, I know. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can turn it up louder. If you can't hear it, it will also be on Canvas. Like, put the mic up. Each person, a part of this organization, has a voice, and whether you're an officer or not, I'll work to ensure. I think it's just the recording as it's quiet. Let's see if we each and every voice is heard. As a member of the Stevens Boy of the Stevens varsity soccer team and Black Hill Soccer Club, I know what it means to work as a team. I'm a two time first team all state soccer player and I've been captain of my club soccer team for three years. I've taken on the role of being a leader and helped my team do a state championship my sophomore year and semifinals my junior year. I'm a coach for the Center of Excellence program for the Black Hills Rapids and prep little kids to be the best athletes they can possibly be on top of that, maintaining a 4.167 GPA this year. I'm also a part of the Economics Club and created a suicide prevention video with the Rapid City School District to prevent suicide. I'm a sociable and hardworking person with an enormous amount of dedication for success. I've spent a copious number of hours feeding the hungry, donating clothes to the poor, volunteering to coach young soccer athletes and helping my classmates with their homework. I think our national honor society is great and don't feel like that we need any major changes. However, this upcoming year, I will change the number of service hours requirements, create new service opportunities, and create a canned food drive where every member brings in a can of food for every meeting and keep meetings interesting by having fun friendly competitions. This upcoming year, I plan to run a food or clothing drive to for the homeless, a service project to clean the parking lots of Stevens to maintain a better look, organize a, commun a community festival or celebration, and create a fundraiser to give back to the community of our choice. If you elect me as president, I will apply the same drive and ambition I applied on my schoolwork and athletics to this club. Malcolm X once stated, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. With me as president, I will ensure that all my promises are met and more success is brought to the national honor of society. Vote for Zach and vote for Duke. All right, round of applause for Zach. All right, our final video comes from Young Jinye, who is also running for the office of the president. Like we always do with this time. Around six years ago, I was class president of my fifth grade class. I even have posters of it that just don't can't be right on I still think this experience can still translate to me. Hi, my name is Young Jin Yang, and I want you to vote for me for National Honor Society President. Qualities I possess that can benefit the National Honor Society is I'm consistent, good at managing my time, and I'm also really easy to an example of my consistency is I've been to every single meeting so far for the National Honor Society. An example of my time management is I've been able to get good grades with my extracurriculars and my classes. I'm also really easygoing, so I'll not take the meetings of the NHS too seriously, but still have fun. This will all contribute to me being an effective leader for the National Honor the National Honor Society is I've created a feedback system. This feedback system will allow members of the society to contact me through email or text to give me feedback on meetings or volunteer activities. Some new service projects I'd add to the National Honor Society is collaborating with track, especially specifically football. 
uh, who needs help usually with setting up and running the meet, so it goes through. Another service project is going around the community and collecting cardboard from houses. It's usually cardboard is just thrown away and not really people have the time to go ahead and recycle it at a drop. So people could go from house to house, maybe collecting cardboard, collecting it, dropping it off. I'd be an effective National Honor Society president through my qualities, new ideas, and changes to the National Honor Society. Like I said six years ago, make a great decision. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then a round of applause for Young again. Yeah. All right. Johnny, we already saw you. Okay. All right, Mrs. Conway has yellow sheets in the back with a QR code on them which you can scan for the official ballot. Polls open this morning at 8 a.m. and they will close tonight at 8 p.m. Please be sure to get your vote in by then also. Oh, Senora. Okay, um, just found out Pinedale needs about 19 volunteers to have their carnival this Friday. I know hours are already due, but those little kids want to have fun. School's almost out, all right? And then secondly, please make sure you vote for people that you think will do a good job. These kids have worked so hard this year. This is a big job. This is not the time to just vote for your friend because they're your friend. Take this seriously. Gracias. Okay. Thank you, everyone, and thank you for letting me be your president this year. It was truly an honor. Thank you. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Jaden. Yeah, can you give me help? Let's see. I'm trying to think. Can you all talk about it? I can. Alright, Oh my gosh, yeah. When I saw when he got that, I'm like, oh my gosh. I think I'd have to vote for Zach and that one. You and Jimmy laugh a lot. Wait, yeah, you just vote for one person, right? Just one person. Oh, right. I was thinking two people. Because, yeah, the first place gets. Yeah. Yeah. It's so relaxed. And my favorite color is green. Like, that's when it's like, oh, yeah. first went on way too long. When I saw it, I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> in this video. Oh, yeah, you probably can. Yeah. Hi, Sophie, if you were watching.